Guten Tag, it's Jennifer Marks, Editor-in-Chief of Home and Textiles Today. We're in Hall 4 today, taking a look into the status of digital printing. Digital printing is currently $100 billion worldwide, but the home textile sector is only about $12 billion annually. The growth in machines and the expansion of sales there are moving rapidly, as is the volume pace of production. However, the United States is on average about two years behind other countries, and within Europe, Portugal in particular is cited as being the most aggressive. I see really the market moving very much into digital uh, because, of course, it's, uh, it's uh, uh, offering new things that before cannot be done, as for example difficult designs that with a conventional press you cannot properly reproduce, no? or uh, colors that uh, is very difficult to match with a conventional press as well. No? And uh, as well in Europe, what is happening, I suppose in uh, many other countries as well, is that the run lengths are becoming shorter and shorter. No? The, the people are looking for different things and not anymore for all the same for a very long uh, run lengths. In the United States, digital printing is moving faster in paper home furnishings than in fabric home furnishings. Hewlett Packard has created a division recently uh, to pursue wall art and wallpaper. In the residential space, it's very, very important that customization, versioning, uh, be a driver to that success. Also, on the commercial side, the hospitality space is critical. They, you know, that the hospitality space may not require 50,000 square feet of a certain pattern. They may want only 5,000 square feet of a very high-end design. And with a digital provider, they can do that without any stock, without any inventory. They can do it uh, as a one strike and maybe refresh the design a year later or, or months later without, without any remakes. Some of the advantages, scale, fit issues, multiple layering, tonal work, and fine detail, but there are issues with the die stuffs and the cost is still not quite where it needs to be. All right, that does it for today. Please be sure to join us tomorrow for our fourth and final report from Heim Textile 2014. In the meantime, check out our website, follow us on Facebook, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.